Hey, what is up guys? I do I help here. Welcome back to the channel. Today I wanted to share with you guys how to 3D scan any object using your brand new iPhone 12 or an iPad 12.9 inch with a D-LiDAR sensor. Now the LiDAR sensor is pretty much another camera that allows you to 3D scan objects. And we haven't seen too many applications developed as of yet for this technology. This is pretty much in its infancy in terms of mobile devices. And Apple has taken the lead here with the new LiDAR sensor on iPhone 12. And I wanted to show you what some first stages applications for the LiDAR sensor may look like as of right now. Now keep in mind, this is still in its infancy at the beginning stages. So what you're gonna see here isn't gonna be top-notch 3D scanning, but here it is. The application is 3D Scanner App. It is available in the App Store absolutely free this application lets you scan objects in two different resolutions the low res and the high res it offers different options of course for the high res but the low res serves a bigger more broader spectrum so if you're scanning say a building this is good for the low res you don't need that much detail but if you want to scan something small like a home pod that you see here you want to go high res because you need more details you want to get a little closer and i wanted to share a few clips that i've recorded or a few scans that i've performed myself using the low res technology from this application. So we're gonna go to the files application here. I've already scanned a few things. Here is the fire hydrant, right here it is. So let me go ahead and zoom out on this one here. And there it is. Now, as I mentioned, this is a low res uh, scan of a fire hydrant right there. Let's go ahead and put the object in place. And there it is. This is the surrounding grass, of course, and this is the fire hydrant right there. I scanned it by simply walking around the object. And I'm going to show you a higher resolution one of a vehicle, personally my car. And I'm going to show you what that looks like and some of the advantages and disadvantages of the primary or early stages of this uh, technology. So that is a fire hydrant, right? So now let's go to my car right here. So let's go hit object here. And there it is. I scanned my car using the higher resolution frame of this application. Now, here's what I did. So to scan the vehicle, I stood about three feet away from the vehicle. The closer you get, the better details you would get on your images. One thing I did notice about this technology is that it isn't uh, capable of capturing glass. As you can see there that the front windshield, the rear windshield, and also the roof was not captured by the 3D scan because it just doesn't reflect light, I guess. So it's not really scanning the glass, but the actual frame frame of the vehicle is being scanned by this technology. And as you can see here, the closer you get, you see the color purple kind of highlight of the vehicle. So that means it's actually getting more data points into the sensor and scanning the vehicle a lot better for a better 3D scan. Now, as I mentioned, this is all early stages. So as you can see right here, it is the results. You can maneuver this around. You can see the vehicle here being scanned. But as I mentioned, the roof was not captured or the windshields at all because it just doesn't work around those objects. The glass just doesn't reflect the light and it doesn't work but there it is that is what the 3d scan of my car looks like and yeah this technology is in its early stages as i mentioned but it is a really cool application if you guys want to try it out if you do have the iphone 12 with the lidar sensor or even the ipad and let me know what your scans look like go ahead and share those with me on twitter if you do scan something i want to see the results on your end and how the application uh, it's working for you again this technology is in its primary stages and soon we'll see more applications being developed this was just a quick one guys and i'll see you on the next one peace